Morning guys, Monday, weekend's over, back on the exchange, and uh, I'm sitting in a queue of traffic waiting to get into Euston to pick up a pallet with an air conditioning machine on to take over to Oxford, 23 miles, 60 quid. Not bad, not bad little job. I had a couple this morning, and I had to drop off four pallets for me mate mine. Queue's moving, hang on a second. Um, yeah, I had to pick up four pallets for me mate mine, drop them over to Luton, and, and see a delivery in. It's kind of different, but that's what I had to do. So anyway, I thought I'd do a video on sat -navs. Uh One of the guys, thanks for watching, uh, said, so what about sat -navs? What do you use? Do you use phone? Do you use independent? I personally use the phone. You've got a kind of a snag with that because you're using the phone. I mean, I use my phone for the sat -nav, and I also use my phone for the radio, and I also use my phone for the exchange. So you're trying to do jobs on the exchange, and you're trying to do what it is when you're driving, which is not really the done thing. You stop and all that kind of stuff, you know? But um, on the whole, Satnavs, I find the phone is the best because it gives you automatic updates. And these flick on all the time. So you're driving down the motorway, you think you're going one way, and it'll go, no, 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 not anymore. You're not going that way anymore. Now you're going. Sometimes it'll take you off. There's one at Heathrow. It'll take you off, take you half a mile down the road to a roundabout, and then take you back on again. But because of the slip roads, it cuts out the traffic. So my top three Satnavs are um, Google Maps comes with a phone. It's very good, obviously. Um, Navi, N-A-V-I-I, -I, is also very good. Has the added advantage of you've got the speedo on the clock, so that tells you what speed you should be going at any one stage. When you jump onto it, it gives you an overview of where you're going, which is quite nice, because it lets you, you start to learn a bit of geography that way. And it's got some Scottish lady talking who's got a very nice voice, although she's a little bit quiet. My favorite one is Waze, W-A-Z-E. All of these are free on the apps on your phone. Waze is brilliant because not only does it have the little speedo thing in the bottom left hand corner which tells you what speed you should be going, it also goes red when you go over the speed. You sort of see that out your corner of your eye and go, oh, hang on, slow down a bit here, because you don't want a ticket. Because it's, it's going through your insurance, it's going to, and they're expensive. You've got to pay speeding tickets 100 quid, or you'll go on a course. Even if you turn up in the van, that's half a day knocked out, and it's your morning, and your mornings are your best job. So, no, I find Waze very good. Um, you can report accidents on Waze, you can have other users and points, not that anyone's that interested. But no, W A Z E, and also the voice of the lady on Waze is louder than the Scottish lady. So she kind of, it comes, I'm listening to my music, and it comes over the music, and it tells me where to go. I always put the voice on. Um, it's irritating, but the amount of times when you're driving down a motorway or a dual carriageway or something like that, and then you look down, you go, oh, I'm supposed to come off here. Even when she says, come off in five miles. And then she says, at the junction, come off. The amount of times where I've gone, oh, hang on, I need to come off here. But no, so sat -navs go, I recommend using the phone. Use your smartphone. Waze is my favourite, but try Navi, try Google Maps. Other things also to bear in mind, put the postcode in. Then double check when the postcode goes in that it corresponds with a street name. Because sometimes you put the postcode in and you've put like BX and you should have put SX and it will still flick up and then you get there and you're like 10 minutes away or five minutes away. So I always double check, check with the street name. I also find that when you get to the place, because the postcodes, you might be lucky, but on the whole they're not always lucky, then type in the name of the place. So, for example, if, you're going, if you've got a pickup from Mitsubishi, type in the postcode. If it takes you to a farm or something like that, or even if you're close, type in Mitsubishi. See if that will get you there. So, um, but it's really trying and error. It is personal choice and all that kind of thing. Got a phone call.